Welcome to Queens, New York, where an incredible transformation is on the horizon. NYCFC is set to unveil a remarkable $780 million stadium that promises to be more than just a venue for soccer. Imagine a spectacular 25,000-seat venue that dazzles with its futuristic design while championing sustainability. This stadium will proudly hold the title of being the first all-electric sports facility in Major League Soccer history, blending eco-friendly technology with a captivating fan experience. But that's just the beginning. This ambitious project encompasses a massive 23-acre redevelopment that aims to turn a once bleak area into a lively urban haven. Envision a thriving neighborhood featuring a public school, a sleek hotel, shopping areas, and 2,500 units of affordable housing. It's not merely about sports, it's about creating a dynamic community space that enhances the quality of life for all residents. The club is close to making their dream a reality, but the journey has not been easy. They've faced numerous challenges, from navigating strict city regulations to addressing the complexities of urban construction. So how exactly will they overcome these hurdles? Join us as we dive into the exciting plans for NYCFC New Home and discover how they aim to change the game for soccer in America. New York already has iconic venues like Yankee Stadium and City Field, so why all the buzz about adding another stadium? Well, neither of these famous venues is designed for soccer. NYCFC has been playing as guests in borrowed spaces since they were founded in 2013, and after their historic English Championship win in 2021, it became clear that the team needed a dedicated stadium to call their own. NYCFC, a team with thousands of loyal fans forced to shuffle from stadium to stadium, even crossing state lines to play at Red Bull Arena in New Jersey. Without their own stadium, NYCFC has had zero control over the game day atmosphere or fan experience. They are missing out big time. And financially, revenue streams from things like stadium naming rights, luxury suites, and quality food concessions are key to growing a team. And NYCFC been locked out of all of that. But here's where it gets even more interesting. NYCFC new stadium isn't just about soccer, it's about transforming Willits Point, a gritty area in Queens that's been mostly industrial and run down for decades. With its crumbling buildings, pothole-filled streets, and auto repair shops, Willits Point is about as far from a modern sports district as you can get. And to make things even more pressing, New York City is in a housing crisis, with more and more people struggling to find affordable places to live. This is where the Willits Point Revitalization Plan comes in. NYCFC and the City Council joined forces to dream up a bold new future, a bustling mixed-use district combining a soccer stadium with affordable housing and community spaces. Imagine a neighborhood where sports fans and local residents coexist, where the excitement of game day meets the heartbeat of a vibrant community. But bringing this vision to life is no small task. Beyond the construction itself, they will face environmental cleanups and battle layers of city regulations just to get things started. Can they clear these hurdles to give NYCFC the stadium it deserves while also transforming Willits Point? Stick around, because this journey is filled with twists, challenges, and surprises that will redefine what a stadium can mean for a city. When NYCFC set out to build a groundbreaking stadium, they quickly learned that dreaming big is one thing. Getting those dreams approved in New York City is another story entirely. First up was navigating the city's Uniform Land Use Review Procedure ULRP, a lengthy process involving layers of review and debate over every tiny detail. And it didn't stop there. Building a stadium in New York brings its own unique set of challenges too. The city's green initiatives require all new projects to meet strict sustainability standards. So NYCFC Stadium had to be a model of eco-friendliness, using renewable energy, energy-efficient materials, and waste reduction systems. NYCFC couldn't just say, we're building green. They had to prove it with plans and assurances. And they did, but not without the challenge of aligning the projects with the city's vision for a cleaner future. The chosen site Willits Point seemed perfect until you look closer. This gritty industrial area was practically begging for transformation, but it came with a massive environmental problem. NYCFC had to commit to removing nearly 200,000 tons of polluted soil before any construction could start. The cost of making Willits Point a usable, welcoming space was high, but NYCFC saw the potential to turn this neglected spot into a hub for sports and community. 
In November 2022, after years of effort, NYCFC finally got the initial green light. By April 2024, they secured full approval, and construction is now underway on a $780 million stadium that's fully funded by City Football Group and NYCFC under a 49-year lease agreement. The projects could ultimately cost taxpayers around $516 million due to real estate taxes. But for the city, this was more than a financial commitment. It was a chance to transform a community, and they were not going it alone. NYCFC teamed up with the stadium building giants, HOK Architects, known for iconic stadiums like the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, and Turner Construction Company, one of the biggest names in construction. By 2024, the groundbreaking ceremony marked the official start of construction, with the stadium slated to open before the 2027 MLS season. The timing couldn't be better just after the U.S. co-hosts the FIFA World Cup in 2026, giving NYCFC a chance to ride the global soccer wave. This new stadium could place New York soccer on the world stage, capturing the energy of the biggest sporting event in the world. What makes NYCFC new stadium stand out? Well, it's not just a stadium. It's a 25,000-seat futuristic marvel with innovation around every corner. From groundbreaking green tech to immersive fan experiences, this stadium is about to set a whole new standard in sports. Starting with the unforgettable main entrance known as The Cube, this stadium invites fans through a massive seven-story gateway lit by more than 11,000 feet of LED displays. Imagine walking into a futuristic corridor of high-definition screens, flashing vibrant animations, and video highlights making every arrival feel like the red carpet. But this stadium's jaw-dropping visuals are only part of the story. NYCFC New Home will be the first fully electric stadium in Major League Soccer. From the rooftop solar panels capturing renewable energy to smart energy saving systems throughout, this venue is an eco-friendly masterpiece. Underneath the pitch lies a water collecting system designed to capture rain and reuse it for irrigation, turning every storm into a resource for the field. With this 23-acre development, NYCFC Stadium is not just a venue, it's the heart of a transformative vision for Queens. This ambitious project will breathe life into the area, adding affordable housing, local jobs, and vibrant community spaces, all while creating a state-of-the-art sports landmark. Beyond just building nice first dedicated soccer stadium, Willits Point is gearing up for a transformation that's set to impact all of Queens. Let's explore what this area is really about to get. The development will bring in 2,500 units of affordable housing, making it the largest such project in New York City since the 1980s. In a city that's desperate for affordable housing, this isn't just adding buildings, it's providing a real solution for thousands of families. In addition to new housing, this development will feature a 650-seat public school and more than 40,000 square feet of open space for the public. These areas are designed to offer places for relaxation, play, and community enjoyment, giving the neighborhood a fresh, inviting feel. Willits Point is going from an industrial wasteland to a vibrant modern area, a complete transformation. But this project isn't just reshaping the skyline, it's reshaping the economy too. With an estimated $6.1 billion in economic impact over the next 30 years, it's expected to bring in 14,200 construction jobs and 1,550 permanent jobs. That's a major win for local employment and a boost for small businesses across the area. And NYCFC isn't just getting a venue, they're getting a financial powerhouse. This stadium is built for growth, with premium seating, hospitality areas, and prime advertising spots that will attract big-name sponsors. Companies are going to be lining up to get their logos on this venue. It's a jackpot for NYCFC financial future, and it doesn't just make fans happy, it solidifies the club's long-term success. But with all the challenges and high expectations, will it truly live up to the vision? What do you think can NYCFC New Stadium deliver the ultimate experience for fans and set a new standard for sports venues everywhere? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.